In South Africa's remote Northern Cape, a glimmering solar tower rises from the desert floor, fed by over 400,000 mirrors. It's not just eye-catching, it's doing something few power stations on the continent can. The total mirrors will be more than uh, uh, 42,000. Uh, so they must to build the tower, and the, the height will be uh, around 247 meters, and then can uh, re receive the, all the, the lights from the reflex from the mirrors, so can mix uh, to the salt, the mountain salt, uh, to boil this one the heat uh, around uh, 550, then can use generate this uh, the heat uh, translated to the power. The engineering marvel is taller than any building in South Africa and works day and night to produce electricity. It's a 100 megawatt uh, facility and uh, because it's a thermal plant, it is actually has a, uh, a particular benefit in the sense that it can run 24-7. So we can take uh, daylight, store it in molten salts and run at night as well. So that's the, that's the beauty of what this project brings. It's different to the normal solar PV projects. And the benefit to the grid is, of course, clearly that we can run 24-7 on the peaks. We can do as much as we can and it's fully, it's fully renewable. Redstone CSP was finally connected to the grid in May this year after being in the making for four years. 480 gigawatts of clean energy will be pumped from here annually to the national electricity grid, enough to power 200,000 households. This one is, uh, is very hard work for, uh, for, power, uh, uh, for the Power China and the CEP3, the, the one Chinese company. Uh, because this is the first project uh, uh, for CEP3 in, in South Africa. Uh, we face uh, even many the difficulties, but uh, we overcome this one, and then we worked with the local community and the, the South African people. We hired many the local engineers, and then the, finally uh, we are already successful. There are only two of these towers on the African continent. Morocco is benefiting from a much larger project, part of China's Silk Road push to modernize the continent's infrastructure and energy systems. Being part of BRICS, being part of uh, the Belt and Road Initiative uh, that uh, China drives, I think uh, Redstone is one of those fruits that says when you are in a partnership with somebody, even though they may be smaller, but uh, we, we approached it from, a, from an equal basis point of view. It, it, it's a relationship of mutual respect and uh, in trying to achieve something uh, that will contribute positively and sustainable. Redstone is one of the biggest clean energy investments in South Africa, but the work doesn't end there. SEPCO 3 has five more renewable projects on the go. Although not as big as Redstone, it will accelerate the country's move towards clean energy and stabilize the grid, which battled shortages for close to 15 years. Julie Shara Sijtian, South Africa.